It's the sixth annual Bronx Book Fair, and writers and authors were everywhere. She's a normal, everyday girl. Yeah. And her, her superpowers is that she's strong, she's smart, she's speedy. Well, I've been writing for all of my life, but in terms of being an author, just since uh, 2016, so only a few years. I'm really proud of the fact that um, I've gotten such great response to my novels that um, I am now an Amazon best-selling author. We're a bookstore without walls for kids, teens, families, and educators in the Bronx. So one of my current favorites is Ghost Boys by Jewel Parker Rhodes. It was just released in April. And this book is about a 12-year-old boy who is um, the victim of police violence. Workshops were also featured on a wide array of topics, including how to get your work published, a community forum on health, women in leadership, and how to protect your literary work. Lorraine Corelli is the executive director and founder of the Bronx Book Fair. We're opening up the doors so that Bronx residents can be introduced to poets and writers. And our mission is to increase interest in reading. So this is Tiffany Haddish's book, The Last Black Unicorn. And serving as keynote speaker, owner of the Bronx's one and only bookstore, Noel Santos, who opened the Lit Bar, is also a member of the American Booksellers Association Advisory Council. She talked to the audience about her decision to create a space that celebrates diversity. My goal is to create a bookstore that reflects the community that it is in. So even while I was very grateful for the Barnes & Noble while they were existing in Bay Plaza and Co-op City, you know, they were limited by being a chain store. So they couldn't, they didn't really have, you know, the, the ear to the streets and, you know, really weren't really able to represent the community the way I would like to see it. Also highlighted during the event, poet and author Sukanthari Save, who immigrated with her family from Cambodia to the Bronx. In her book, Apsara in New York, she talks about growing up. She is also board president of the Cambodian American Literary Arts Association. So far, all the literature out there about Cambodians has been about um, the genocide or about um, the glory days and there's really nothing in between to talk about our journey here. So if you have any questions about these books here, Corey's Dreams or Heavily Tidings from the Africa Muse or any of the other books, you can go to BronxBookBear.com. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.